Hi, this is Miranda from My Scrappy Life and welcome back to my channel. This is another process video with Laura where we do scrap lift Sunday and we are going to be scrap lifting this layout right here and it's from um, Nicole. I'm not sure how to say her last name but I will link her Instagram information down below. So I realized that both, both of our layouts this month matched. Like we actually matched. I can say, I think out of the amount of years, I think, golly, I think we've been doing this now three years. Laura, correct me if I'm wrong, because I know we both watch each other's um, videos every, or when we do these on Sundays. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I think we've been doing this for three years. And out of those three years, we have never matched. Not once, but twice in one layout. Or one month. So I think... I can honestly say we did it. I think this month we both followed the layout to the T. Like, that doesn't happen with us because that's why Laura and I love doing this like, this scrapless Sunday together because her and I have so different, we're very, 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 very different on our layouts and that's why when we came up with this collaboration way back when we did Scrap Timber and did, um, you know, scrap lifting and whatnot that we, that, that was the whole point of us doing this style was to give you guys as our YouTube subscribers and anybody new, obviously, to our channels, the, how you can take one take of the layouts and, um, you know, of the, the layout that we pick between each other and give us two different takes and honestly this time I can say we didn't we we didn't give each other two different takes we literally scrap lifted it together <laughs> which is awesome I love it you know and that's the beauty of this but I can honestly say that this is the first time in this many years that we have um, followed the sketch or the layout to the T um, I absolutely love this so a little bit of the background of the photo. This was one of my tough um, Friday um, feed up that us teachers do. Um, it's something that is like on Instagram and I wanted to um, showcase it because it was, um, this week was a tough week. Um, we, the, I, vaguely remember why this one was a tough week I always like when it comes to like my school stuff because I do a lot of promoting of school on my Instagram page and just more of my personal life kind of than what I do on Facebook um, especially for teaching um, I wrote down on the back why this one was so tough we were coming off of not only my husband was gone and we were like two months in, I had a tough time with my daughter's daycare that she was going to and I had to come up with enough courage to talk to my, my principal about the fact that my daughter at the time was not able to go to the daycare that she was at because she, I mean, she had, you know, she has ADHD and, she, you know, emotional, um, uh, stuff that comes along with it and just all of this stuff and the daycare that she was going to just it was tough for her um, it was tough for my daughter and she felt very out of place she was um, starting to eat a lot when she normally doesn't and she gained quite a bit of weight because she was stress eating and I noticed it and I wanted to get her out of there but I didn't know how to tell my boss that, hey, by the way, if you're going to lose a teacher if I can't find daycare for my daughter. And I and I was talking to my grade chair and my grade chair was like, um, okay, we'll get it figured out. Why don't you bring my daughter to, or why don't you bring your daughter here? She absolutely loves me. And my um, grade chair was the, uh, was the, all virtual teacher um, she was virtual the whole the whole year and so I was talking to her and then um, she knew I was stressed but she didn't and she knew 
she knew she wasn't stepping out of boundaries, but she went to my or she went to our principal and was saying, "Look, Miranda is having, you know, whoever's having issues." And it wasn't like she um she knows she also knows I'm very proud. And I'm always the one to come up with like the ideas to try to okay, let's fix it this way or why don't we do this or why don't we do that? And so, yeah, so ultimately at the end of the day, um, she went and did it for me. And then my principal's like, after car rider line, you come see me. And I was like, oh heck, you know, but then I realized what it was for and it all worked out. But I, yeah, I was stressed out a little bit on this one because, um, this was the day that she turned in her two weeks and then two, like three days later after that, she's like, okay, you're, uh, I'm done watching my daughter, or I'm done watching your daughter, this, that, and the other, so it, w it was, it was a little stressful. So anyway, that's what this Friday, um, foot up is. We do, it's like a thing on Instagram for us teachers. I mean, if you're not a teacher, you wouldn't know what this is and why I have my feet up on my desk because y'all know that this isn't typically my normal, like, MO, but I wanted to discuss this. I did the journaling off camera because I didn't want this on camera because it. You know, I do promote this for Scrapless Sunday and that this one out of all of them is, is a little bit more personal than um, I've ever gone on a layout. And um, so I did do the journaling. So it is in my scrapbook on why um, I did this particular one and why. So I wanted it very upbeat and personal to this layout. So I grabbed the Reaching Out collection from... Um, Jen Headfield because there is a lot about like bestie messy have a good day it's got that good vibe and it's vintage because obviously y'all know my vintage that I love to have and um you know just like that and I'm adding like the rain crowd and the the flower the shower of flowers you know just little bits and bobs of things like this that makes it more like okay I think I got this, I got this, I got this, you know, type of thing. And so, yeah. But um, anyway, make sure you go check out Laura. Um, her take is a lot like mine. Just um, obviously it's still her take, but um, hers and mine do actually match. <laughs> It's kind of funny that we did it in two months. I added these little characters. Oh my gosh, I love these peacocks. And this little snail. And I add a caterpillar because I think they're just cute. Um, I do add these emoji style vintage um, ones where my feet are at. I did do a bunch of fussy cutting with the flowers. I did that off camera just to make it easier. And now I'm coming around and I'm finding all the hearts and the shapes and the just everything in general. Um... Hash, you know, my title is going to be hashtag better together because we all had to come together. Like last year and even this year, it's just in teaching without a doubt has been, I'm going in my third year. This is like my fifth or sixth year with subbing that. Let me tell you, this has just been. I've never been burnt out. Normally by Christmas, I'm burnt out. You know, I just need a break. The kids need a break for me. And, but no, I, I'm burnt already and we're in October and only in October. I mean, I still have two months yet of craziness going um, for that respect. But ultimately, yep, that's where we're at. Um, I still love what I do. I love this, love this job. Um, I love this career path. College is going fantastic. Grad school is right where I want it to be. I'm almost done. I'm almost at a year. And yeah, so it's been, um, it's been great. Um, so make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel. I do upload between two to three times a week. I do collaborations like this with Laura, a bunch of other collabs, along with my design team. I've, I put a lot of meaning and thoughtfulness into my layouts compared to what I have in the past. And I hope that um, you enjoy the process and you know my life stories while I talk about this. Very seldom do I actually talk about the layout. I just talk about my life while I'm doing this. So here are the splatters. The still shots are coming up. Make sure you like and subscribe. It is free. I'm almost to 3,000 subscribers, y'all. I can't believe it. Um, but yeah, make sure that you guys are all staying safe. Have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.